everyone, it's Melissa, and welcome to today's video, where today we're kind of doing something that I don't really know why I'm doing it, I just feel like it. So, back when like I first started my channel, like years ago, one of my first videos that I did was something called My Collections, and I would link it, but it's awful, so just do that on your own volition if you want. But, um... I basically showed things that like I collected at the time and given everything was very small and that was why I put it all into one video. So something I kind of wanted to go through since um, I work at a place where you can get a lot of like these lounge fly bags and um, so I get a discount. <laughs> and when you get a discount, you're tempted to buy more things. So I just kind of wanted to go through like my little collection. Not all of these are lounge fly bags, but the majority of them are. Um, I'll say when a bag isn't. I think there's only two here that aren't. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead, hop right into it. And I wanna, I put them in order that I got them in, I believe, because I wanted to try to keep track of which ones I have. And now that I have them all on the floor next to me, I'm realizing I've got a lot of bags. <laughs> Uh, majority of which I just got within the last year, so this will be fun. But my very first lounge fly bag was this little Darth Vader one here. Now there was like keychains and stuff that I put on this, so ignore those, but it was a Darth Vader bag and I really liked it. This is like Matt up here and I don't know, I love Darth Vader, one of my favorite villains in Star Wars, and so this is just like a black faux leather. It's got like little shiny decorative bits and stuff that look like his control panels and and then uh, inside, it's just, it's pretty plain, pretty like just gray and white stripes, but it also came with a matching wallet, or, let me just go ahead and preface this, whenever I say something came with, it just means that I, there was a matching set, or I got it in addition to this, so, it came with, um, this nice Darth Vader wallet, it's kind of stretchy, which I liked, and it's got this like, Compartment. I love wallets that have like coin holders, so this was something that I really enjoyed about the wallet. Tons of spaces for cards and like money pockets, and then the whole thing zipped up so I knew nothing was ever gonna spill out. When I had a smaller phone, my phone fit in here. It was a wonderful, wonderful time. And then I used to take this bag to Disney all the time. Like, this was my go to Disney bag, and I would put like portable chargers and stuff down here. It was lovely, lovely, lovely. And you can fit a lot of stuff in these bags, let me tell you. You can have a whole day at Disney with one of these bags. Um, so that was the first bag I ever got. My second bag is actually what I use for D&D now. So I have a D&D keychain on it um, whenever I go and play with friends. This one um, was from Target and I got it on sale for like $15 to $20 or something like that. Uh, most launch fly bags uh, are going to run you about $60 to $80 nowadays, depending on the bag and whatnot. Um, most wallets are going to be about $30 to $40. But um, it's got my, my dice in here, but I'm Slytherin, so we got the nice little serpent here with all of our little banners running around, and I love it. Nice black back. Inside it's just black, but since mine was, mine was damaged, so I've got like this little ish. And that is something that I don't like about lounge fly bags, is that um, they tear very, very easy. And they, like you'll see on my next bag too, this is my diva bag from Overwatch. Um, by the way, there's no wallet that matched with the Slytherin ones. I don't have it. If there was ever a matching set for something, I got it. But this Diva one, super nice. Little blue pattern on the inside. Nice and pink. It's the same material as the um, Darth Vader one. And this kind of style of lounge light bag, I refer to as the classic style. Um, this was just where they would have this shape. They had the front ex extended pocket, and that was it. And they would just mix and match it. Um, so this is what I refer to as a classic style. but. Nice little hot pink straps, and then this opens up here. You can see there's a wallet in here. So this is the matching wallet for it. I absolutely love it. So you can open it up, and I am missing the card wallet. <laughs> uh, but basically, oh no, I found it. <laughs> pink card wallet there for Diva. Very nice. Everything has the lounge fly Overwatch branding, so that's always fun and nice to see if you care about branding at all, but that's my little diva set. This is the only set of three that I have, actually, so I wish Loungefly would make more sets of three, because um, that is very handy for me. Let me go ahead and 
zip this back up. I should probably zip up my Soul Guard one. Whoops. There we go. Next up, this released in February 2019 for the for the um, oh gosh Valentine's Day collection. But this is my Valentine's Day Lion King one. It's got this super nice big pouch here. This is what I call um, the oversized classic design because it still has the extended front pocket like the original, but it is just bigger. And I've done like a full photo shoot day with this. It's like. Very big, very nice. This pocket goes down like halfway, so you can really get to everything that you need to. I've also got the matching wallet. This one did not have a card wallet, and I was really sad about it because it's super cute. Um, it's got the same design as, or not design, but like same layout as the Dark Vader one, so that's why I also consider it as part of the classic. You can see my wallet has like damage on it, but that's just because I've used it a lot. Zip that up. I keep forgetting to zip these back up. I'm like, yeah, I just like the Oliver print. The one thing that I didn't like about this bag, it's got this metal ring right here, and the straps move and they pinch my hair a lot. But other than that, great bag. Okay, so this is the first bag that is not a lounge fly. Um, and I haven't actually really used this bag, but it's a very cute little nightmare before Christmas bag. And it's a lock. Box. So basically you have to push in one side, you lift the latch, and then it opens up and it's got this lovely like interior. And I really want to use this as like a lunch bag for work or something, but it's got a little steady pocket. It's super cute. I love it. I love chest looking things. So I think I literally got this for like $6. Um, that was with my discount and the sale going on at my work. So yes. Um, Love this. You can also remove the strap, so if you don't want it, you just want to hold it by the handle. It's multifunctional. Who doesn't like that pattern? Who doesn't like Nightmare Before Christmas? I love Nightmare Before Christmas. So that is that bag. My next one is also not, it's the last of the bags that are not lounge fly. Um, and this is my My Hero Academia bag. Bought this right before, um, Oh gosh, Anime Expo, so I liked it, it was super big, it was open, so if I needed to like pile more things, it was just gonna stay enclosed anyway. I put all of my uh, cosplay stuff in here for that. It had a little zipper on the back, so that was where I put like my phone and battery chargers and everything, so I didn't have to worry about where they were. Um, I think at one point one day I put my wallet in here, so it's on my back, nobody can get to it. Um, so there was this, and then it came with, you can tell because of that. Matching wallet. I love this wallet too. This is perfect. Like anytime I go to a concert now, this is what I bring. So I've got this big pop pouch here. I do use this wallet quite a bit. So there is stuff in here at the moment. I'm gonna cover that up. It's full ID, but tons of storage for all your cards and stuff. And this is like the new layout that I'm liking, where it's just a lot of card space, and then you're, you have an ID spot. There's a zipper for coins and whatnot, and then it also has. A matching card wallet. So this card wallet I use whenever I don't want to bring the wallet basically, but I keep it stuck in here just because convenience. And this closes also with magnets. So nice little set there. I should actually probably put the wallet. No, wait, because I use this. I'm gonna leave it out. <laughs> uh, so there's that bag. Next up is a bag that I bought at D23 when I worked there. Um, so I saw this bag loved it i waited until about one of the last days so that i knew that there was enough stock and whatnot uh, but this is the jungle book bag i adore the watercolor on this there isn't really anything on the back um you'll see later on they start doing things on the back of bags but um i absolutely love this love the little zipper here open this up nice little pouch inside the pouch i have the matching card wallet it's super adorable i just love the watercolor design uh, most, actually all of my card wallets do have this little pouch here except for my Diva one. It's very helpful, very convenient. Uh, and then the inside of this bag, it's kind of hard to see probably for y'all, but uh, it's got this nice design of all the little animals and it's also got an extra zipper in the back there. So lots of storage on these bags, even though they're small. Lots of storage, I like space, so... Okay, my next bag is... My second smallest, I think, aside from the Nightmare Before Christmas one. Um, this one, this bag is something that I would use for like 
I've used it recently at Disney because I wanted to do pin trading and I was only there for a couple hours, so it's something that I would use for like that kind of scenario, but got all my pins displayed. That one's my girlfriend's actually, so I need to make sure I get that to her. Um, but yeah, so I put like pins and buttons and stuff in here. It's really fun. Um, there's a zipper on the bottom so you can get in here, but then the zipper on the top lets you access all the pins and then I still have like headache medicine and headphones in there, so... Uh, but yes, yeah, so this one is also a lounge fly and it's got the removable strap, so it's really nice. This is the recently released Fox and the Hound bag. There's no matching item with this one or anything, which is kind of sad, but it's okay. Um, it's got this lovely scene of the meeting inside. It's got like this little like foresty kind of print with like dog bones and stuff. Little zipper in there. Um, and then actually on the back, it says, We'll always be friends forever, won't we? And it, it just, it makes me cry. I love this movie. It makes me cry every time. I love Todd and Copper. They're the best friends that anyone could ever have. They deserve the best. Um, and this also has like, this one has two zippers, but one is like a little dog bone, which is so cute. And then the other is just a normal zipper. I wish they would have done something for like both. Darth Vader. We love him. This also has one little zipper. I don't know why though, but this one has the rebel symbol. So not really sure what's up with that, but it's a nice solid red color inside, same as the strap. And it's got this lovely matching wallet that goes with it. This wallet is my new favorite style of wallet. So it's got money pouch right there, zipper pouch right here so you can throw your coins in there. So super convenient if you don't want to open it up, but if you open it up, I'm going to cover that, but that's my ID. Uh, but it's got the ID pouch and then all the space for cards and then also a pouch here and a pouch there. Like it's got four fucking pouches and it just holds everything. So this is like my new favorite design of wallet and they're adding more in that series so I do like it a lot. There's water in here because I took it to an amusement park. So yeah, this is a lovely, lovely bag and it's just white on the other side. This actual color is probably more like an off-white but I really like it. The embroidery is really nice. It's not like frayed or anything. It says Vader. It's just nice. It's just nice. Okay. My next three bags. Have not used any of them. Actually, the next four bags I have not used yet. Um, but three of them, technically I guess all of them are gifts. We'll just say they're all gifts. So, I know I have to actually like stand up now. I'm going to bring these all a little closer. Okay, I just have a mountain of bags. So this is one of my gifts that I got. So we got this nice little Pokemon lounge fly bag. It's super cute, the strap's adjustable. The bag is really tiny, like, it's super tiny, but you know, this would also be good for like a concert or something if I just want a little bag. And it's a Pokeball heart. Who doesn't want a Pokeball heart, you know? So super cute, love this one. Haven't used it, but I really, really want to. Next up is one of my Christmas gifts that I got this year. So there's tags and wrapping still on it, but um, this is my, oh gosh. I think it's BB90. Yeah, I got this Star Wars lounge fly purse. I think it's lovely. It's the same material um, as the decorations on the Darth Vader bag. So it's very like flexy, it feels very nice. Um, it's got two handles. Um, I don't think it has a strap, but I like this. I like this one a lot. It's got the little logo on the back. Again, this one is covered because I have not opened it yet, really, aside from Christmas Day. Nice thing I like about the purses, they also came with um, little travel bags, so you don't have to worry about them getting damaged or scratched. And honestly, I'm probably gonna just store them in them all the time when I'm not using them. My next one is also a little purse, and this one is for Captain Phasma, so I do love the metallic on her, she's super nice to look at, little first order emblems, logo on the back, very very nice, a little bit of fraying, but that's pretty normal for lounge fly bags, um, but yeah, very nice, I love Captain Phasma, so I know they basically wasted her character, but it's fine. <laughs> she looks cool, <laughs> and she also has the little safety bag, so I'm just going to go ahead and throw her back in there. 
And then we are down to the final bag. Literally just bought this yesterday, but it is the most adorable little Figaro bag from Pinocchio. It's got Jiminy on there. I can't remember the fish's name, but then you got Figaro the cat. It's got a nice little pouch here, and inside it's got like a little black and white striped design. Um, I'm not opening this up because there's still tissue paper in it. Um, don't want to deal with that. But there's a little Jiminy on the back here, and it says, Fishes do come true. And it's super cute, and I love it, because I love Jiminy Cricket. Oh, why are you afraid? Oh, you're supposed to do that. Okay. That was a choice. Um, I'm like, why didn't I notice that until now? And then here's the little matching card wallet with a little Figaro and the fish fighting. This one also has like a little pocket. This one's very similar to the um, Jungle Book one um, because it's got the design on the front and then it's got three little pouches on the back along with the pocket. So this one's also nice. It's got a little Jiminy on the back. So very nice, very cute. So that right back there. And yeah, so as of 2020, we'll starting off 2020, these are all of the <laughs> bags I have. I'm gonna say lounge flies because I don't know. Lounge fly probably is gonna get me a, a couple more watchers. <laughs> the majority of them are lounge fly, okay? It's like all but two. I have a dozen lounge flies, okay? There's a lot. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love these bags. I use the majority of them all the time. Um, it's kind of nice sometimes if like I'm Disney bounding or if I just want to dress up and add like a certain little like flair of character I can do that with these bags and they're very compact you can take them to everywhere basically and I don't know they're cute they're fashionable and you know who doesn't like to be a little nerd here and there but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy um, let me know if you have any lounge fly bags yourself or kind of nerdy bags like these. I also, um, the My Hero one is a Bio World one, and I don't remember what the Nightmare one is, but it's, it's not lounge fly, I'm pretty sure. But go ahead, let me know, comment that down below. And if you guys want to watch another video, please click right over here. And if you'd like to subscribe, please click right over here. Thank you guys again so much for watching and for being here. Happy New Year, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye